So I have an issue, and the issue is this. You look at all that damage and you're wondering, what the heck, Vince, what is going on with your lawn? And I'm gonna get to it. Army worms. Army worms are an insect or a caterpillar that show themselves or their destruction about end of summer, beginning of fall. And the thing with them is you go to bed at night, you wake up in the morning, and you are stuck with this. So I got attacked. I was under invasion by army worms. I'm gonna to talk to you all things army worms. And I generally don't do this because I don't wanna get into uh, insecticides and spraying and different chemicals because there's a lot of do's and don'ts with that. But I feel pretty confident in after reading multiple articles, after reading different labels, to give you this information. That way your lawn doesn't end up like mine did twice. This happened last year too and I thought I learned my lesson but apparently I didn't. So the life cycle of this notorious bug, uh, this army worm. Last year we got invaded by them and most of the people up here where I'm at in Pennsylvania, you don't think that we're gonna have army worms. We never really had them up here before. We had sod web worms, but not army worms. And there's a bunch of hurricanes. People thought like, hey, the winds blew up all this influx of these moths, which then created the life cycle of the notorious army worm. So what happens is you have a moth. We're just gonna start with the moth, okay? So you have a moth and then the moth lays its eggs. These eggs can be found on lampposts, they can be on your siding, they can be in your grass, they can be on leaves, wherever. They're eventually gonna hatch. And when they hatch, they turn into larva. The larva then come from wherever they hatch, go down to your lawn, and it is a full on buffet. And if it's not your lawn, they're going to the sod farms, they're going anywhere, and they really like new turf, young turf. So they start eating, right? So they get all fat and happy like we do at a good old golden corral or a buffet or whatever. They burrow down, they form into this pupa, and then from the pupa, after a couple weeks, they hatch into this beautiful little butterfly, right? Hungry, very hungry caterpillar wrong they turn into this moth this ugly moth this beast that flies away lays more eggs and creates this big old cycle over and over and over again unless you do something about it what are the signs of army worms look for eggs on your siding look for eggs on your lamp posts look for eggs on the look for eggs on leaves look for brown spots within the lawn look for dead spots within the lawn similar activity and looks like when you see grubs that are damaging your lawn, right? And now let's talk damage. What happens to your lawn? Most army worms won't eat the crowns of your lawn. That way, that's a good thing. That means that hopefully this will come back, right? It's gonna continue to grow and shoot and feed it and your lawn will come back. But if they're super hungry and there's a lot of them, they will start to eat on your crown. And they eat the crowns, it's irreversible damage, right? They cut it right here, they cut it right off. And when I first mentioned, I woke up the next morning and I saw tons of dead spots. It's because they're most active in the evening or at nighttime. But as they get bigger, they're just gonna keep eating. Their mandibles get bigger and they're just gonna chew, 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 and they don't care what or when they're just gonna eat to get fat and happy. So you have a suspicion of having army worms in your lawn, so what are we gonna do about it? Let's get testing. So this is called a soap flush or a drench test. We get Dawn, this happens to be the Platinum Advanced Power, so if you have a greasy lawn, here you go, and get a gallon. Uh, you can get a gallon, a five gallon bucket, whatever. Fill it up to about halfway, pour a couple ounces of Dawn dish soap in, it doesn't have to be scientific. One of the articles I read, they said, army worms don't like lemon scented soap from joy so if you really want to go all official go get yourself some lemon scented joy and put it in i use whatever but the army worms hate this you fill your bucket up create some suds take a one square foot area dump it over top of it and within a couple seconds you should start seeing army worms coming up sometimes it might take 10 15 minutes till they really get up there so i took a hose and I sprayed the area as well to really drench it in there and I had army worms coming up like crazy. Now you see army worms, does that mean you need to treat it? No, you actually don't. There's a kicker to that. So you tested your square foot area, you saw some army worms, broaden that a little bit. Go a little bit bigger. So go nine square feet. If you count around nine army worms or more, you have an issue, you probably wanna take care of that. The treatment for that would be a curative rate and we're gonna get into that shortly. So the best treatment for army worms is a preventative treatment, but you see, I thought I did a preventative treatment and it didn't work well. So what did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong, right? What product did I use that didn't allow me to have the coverage that I was hoping for? I used Bifin or 
by fenthrin. Bifen will kill armyworms, although it will not keep them from that rotating life cycle and keep them away. So last year, I had armyworms, I treated my back lawn, I lost probably 2,000 square feet of my lawn. I treated with bifen, it took care of them, but then they came right back. The product that you wanna use, it's called chlorantranopol. I butchered that, I'm not an expert. It's easier to say aceliprin. Aceliprin is one of the only active ingredients that will kill and prevent armyworms from reoccurring. Now, aceliprin is very expensive. At $120, you're gonna get a four ounce little bottle, which I should be getting any day here soon. You're probably thinking, wow, that's a lot of money. I don't have $120 to be putting down on my lawn. If you have a smaller lawn, there is one other product that you can use that's a little hidden secret that many people don't know, and that's in a product called Grub X. If you pick up a bag of Scott's Grub X, you look at the active ingredient, and it actually says the, the big old C word, or aceliprin. One of those bags treats around 5,000 square feet and costs 30 to $45. So depending on what your means of application are, you can either go with a granular, a Scott's Grub X, or you can go with a Celeprin, which is a liquid. You do want to get a battery backpack sprayer. That way you have a uniform, consistent spray over the entire lawn. If that's not something you have, then a granular and the spreader will work better for you. So if you see damage in your lawn, you do a test, you see that it's armyworms, develop a plan, test the area, count how many armyworms you have in that area, buy the insecticide that's going to help you get rid of the issue. And remember that falls right around the corner. So any turf that dies, you can get an aerator, you can get a slit seed, or you can get some grass seed and you can put it down. If you thought this was beneficial, if you liked the information, go ahead and hit the like, hit the subscribe and follow along in this journey as I now fix, I thought that was a, another moth, but it was just a butterfly. Whew, we're good. Follow along because we're gonna repair this front lawn back to its healthy state and we're gonna prevent armyworms every year from here on out with a celeprin. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.